In this video, I'm going to help you reassemble your 4x4 if it pops or comes apart. I received a ton of comments requesting this video and I decided to make this a series on my channel. I'll be releasing larger cube assembly tutorials first and working my way through all WCA puzzles. I'm also going to add timestamps in the description for reference and I'll be doing a common pops tutorial at the end. Real fast, if you find this helpful and want to see more content from me, please hit that subscribe button and bell to be notified of upcoming videos. With that said, let's get to it. All right, first things first, before I do any assembly, I divide all the pieces. I like to have all my brackets together so I can easily grab them. I'll be showing you how I assemble a magnetized cube, but I'll also show you tips on how I assemble non-magnetic cubes as I go. So starting with the core, don't be alarmed at all those loose pieces on the centers. They do serve a purpose. When I build my first layer, I don't bother with center pieces. I just find they're easier to do at the end and I'll show you why. For now, take the yellow layer edges and corners and start assembling them. If this wasn't magnetized, I would take tape and then I would tape all the edges and corners as I go. Please keep in mind, don't tape one of the sides and I'll show you why. Again, as you're going, be sure to put the large edge bracket in each edge slot. Once it's all assembled, pull apart one of the sides. And again, this is the non-taped side and reassemble them around the core. If you're using tape, now you can completely tape all four sides to keep it stable. You'll know this step is complete when the brackets on all the outside pieces look like so. The next step can be a bit tricky and requires a little bit of practice. You'll need to take four of the smaller edge brackets and insert them in. I always start with two, and how I do this is I misalign the core, exposing the edge brackets. You'll need to make sure the lip of the piece is up top, like so. Carefully put the pieces in and don't worry if the lip bracket isn't secure. I always start with corresponding brackets since they oppose one another for stability. Now I take one of the finished sides and I add center pieces and edge pieces. This ensures the bracket stays in place. Again, if this was non-magnetic, I would do the exact same thing, only I would tape each side as I go. Now I insert on each side of the cube. the last layer already finished with the edge bracket in for easy installation. You may need to work the last piece in, but in the end, your brackets should all be within the track and it should look like this. The next step is my favorite part because it's the most satisfying. You take four large edge brackets and eight small edge brackets. I start by placing all four edge brackets in place like so. It should look like this. Now I take the smaller edge brackets and insert them around the piece like so. In the end, it should all look like this when it's done. Keep in mind, the bottom layer still doesn't have center pieces, so don't squeeze the cube too hard or it could explode. Now that I've laid the framework, it's time to work on the third layer. Starting with the first two centers, make sure to insert them in and work your way around. There isn't a need to insert edge brackets at this time. Once they're all in, you can start inserting the small edge brackets in like so with a lip facing down. If it's non-magnetic, consider taping the entire layer for stability before you insert any of the small edge brackets. Now it's time for the last layer. To get all the pieces put in together properly, start with two edges and two corners and make sure to get the larger edge bracket in place between the edges before you insert. Once you get it in, take a smaller edge bracket piece and insert it with the lip facing down like so. You may need to do this carefully, again, with more practice. Once it's in though, you're good. Now, take another edge set with large edge bracket. Before you insert a small edge bracket, place a white centerpiece in place. Now, Repeat the steps, inserting a corner piece, a center piece with an edge piece and the bracketing 
like so. Once you get to your last edge piece and last two centers, it's best to prep the edges before completing the last layer. Now you're ready to take the last two centers and insert them. with a small edge bracket like so. Honestly, this is always a little tricky, so just make sure to be patient, and if the piece drops into the center, just tip it over and let it fall out and try it again. Once it's in, take the edge piece and insert it like so. You may need to wedge it in at an angle, just like this. Now that it's all done, you should have four yellow centers and four small edge brackets left. Carefully take out two edges and a corner, for installation. A small edge bracket into place with an edge and make sure to work your way around. Just like the white layer, once you've worked it in all the way around to the last two center pieces and edge, Make sure to get that small edge bracket in place. And again, it could take some time, so be patient with it. But once it's in, take the edge piece and insert it like so. And again, you may need to wedge it in at an angle. If need be, you might need to loosen it up with a screwdriver to get the piece in. And now, you're all done. Congratulations. I hope this was helpful to you and be sure to share this video to someone who has a 4x4 and needs help assembling. Now I wanna go ahead and show you how to fix a center pop. If you find that a centerpiece is popped out, make sure that the small edge brackets on each side are in place. If this is the case, all you need to do is point the piece in between the brackets and insert. If you have to reinsert brackets, you'll need to pull out an edge piece. And I would just reference the prior step in the video to show you how to complete that. Let's go ahead and do a full time-lapse rebuild so you can see everything from start to finish, just for reference. If you're new to the channel, be sure to click that subscribe button as well as the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. Be sure you're also using discount code HERO at checkout for any and all speedcubeshop.com orders. Don't forget to give this video a like as well as comment any thoughts or questions below. 
Additionally, I started a merch site, so don't hesitate to check out the link in the description and consider supporting my channel. Lastly, follow me on Instagram as well as join my Discord. Links in the description. And until next time, happy cubing.